Hey Google, turn on ring lights. Okay, turning the ring lights on. Hey Google, set ring lights to 10%. You got it, setting the ring lights brightness to 10%. Alexa, change the color of ring lights to red. Okay. First of all, I want to thank all my subscribers and uh, I've reached this magic number of 500. I'm so happy that there are 500 people who have subscribed to my channel. And uh, a disturbing trend that I found in the channel is there is only 0.4% of female uh, population that is actually watching this uh, channel. So this means that uh, we are um, trying to put up a technology video and we want both um, populations that is male and female to be able to uh, use this information and uh, create Internet of Things. So the idea is to then mix these two together and try to bring the female population up to speed with Internet of Technology things in this channel. So what I am planning to do is, so right now we are building a house. So basically um, this is the model home that is what we're going to build. And um, as we are building this, I want to document this. And uh, and if you guys don't know, I'm, I'm from India. And in India, I can speak uh, three different languages. So each language has its own grammar. So I can speak Tamil, I can speak Oriya, and I can speak Hindi. So basically what I will do is I will try to uh, document the process of building the house uh, that will showcase both my wife and my dog and uh, how this house is being built. And I will use one of these three languages in order to attract the female population to actually follow through this process. And in between, I will try to put in these Internet of Things um, technology uh, keywords inside, some kind of information inside so that they learn and they get hooked to the technology. So that is the idea behind doing this. So this will be every alternate weeks. That's what I'm thinking. But for today, uh, we're not going to venture, venture into this. Uh, we'll do something uh, directly Internet of Things related stuff. So the most interested uh, topic in my channel has been LEDs. Every time I put a uh, video on LEDs, people just love it. They have so many questions. They want to replicate the project. So again, we're going to have now a different project, but again, we're going to use LEDs. So this is the most minimalistic form that you can create uh, NeoPixel lights connected to ESP8266. Just connect the 5 volt to the VN, the ground to the ground, and uh, data line to one of these pins. In my case, I'm just connected to the RX pin, which is GPIO3. So the biggest question that people ask uh, in the different projects that I'm involved in, I've, I've been involved in lighting and stuff like that. So the biggest question people ask is, how do I use Google Assistant, Alexa, or Siri to be able to control the slides? Uh, so basically, this means that uh, there should be a way for this ESP8266 to connect to internet, and somehow these assistants should be able to connect to ESP8266. So the biggest problem in these, this equation is Siri, or HomeKit. Um, it's living in its own bubble, so I'm not going to bother about trying to integrate Siri into my um, uh, home uh, automation system. So mostly I'll be working with both Alexa and Google Assistant. So the easiest way that I would recommend people to do it is use Home Assistant. Home Assistant can not only do this, but can connect to other things inside your house. And uh, it has support for all the three platforms. And what one would one can do is have uh, this ESP8266 connect to a Mosquito broker or an MQTT broker using MQTT API, and then Home Assistant can interact with this uh, device using uh, different topics. And then this particular light can be exposed to Home Assistant, and Home Assistant can expose that to Google Assistant, Alexa, and Siri, and you can then control the lights, turn on and off, change the color, start an animation, stuff like that. But the biggest hurdle for a few people would be then to actually set up all this on a computer or some kind of Raspberry Pi, which costs around $35 to $50. Again, that's a big hurdle in terms of actually setting Home Assistant up. There are new ways. The has.io is a good way to actually get started with the Raspberry Pi. But again, that is 
um, taking some person's half an hour of time to actually set this up, connect uh, the network and all that stuff. Um, another way to do this is probably use some kind of hub. I'm just putting an example here. In this case, we are connecting all these assistants to a SmartThings hub, and our SmartThings hub can connect to ESP to Sixes using HTTP API. And the cost of uh, having a hub again is somewhere around fifty to hundred dollars. And setting all these up, as well as the HTTP API or the REST API for a device, well, takes around half a day to a day to actually do all this. Um, but today we're going to look at something completely different. We're going to use a cloud service. So basically this cloud service is somewhere in the internet and ESP8266 connects directly to this service and all the assistants, so including SmartThings, uh, can connect to this cloud device and basically we can expose this device uh, to these assistants and these assistants can control this device directly. So basically what is the cost associated with it? So the free plan that they um, advertise uh, costs nothing and you can send up to 100k messages per month. There's no credit card required. You have 30 days data retention and online support. Again, I'm not getting paid to do this. This is not a sponsored uh, video. I, I just uh, found this information on their website. Um, but if if Arctic, you're listening, you want to sponsor, please, please go ahead. Okay, the first thing we'll do is try to actually connect um, a device, let's say uh, RGB light or, an, uh, or a, just a light that uh, turns on and off or a switch that goes on and off to the cloud. So this is what we call as a device type. Okay, so this is more of a generic format of what we are trying to do. And then once we create this device type, then we create each of these devices that we want to connect. So that is your MyCloud. So once you create your device type, then you go and create your MyCloud. Okay, so this could be your ESP266 connected to your NeoPixels. So each one is a device and the device type for this is going to be an RGB LED. So first let's go uh, and see what kind of functions this particular device is going to have. So as you can see, you can turn on and off your NeoPixel. So you're going to have the on and off function. And uh, next thing you would probably require is an RGB function. That is, you can change the color of your RGB uh, lights, that is your NeoPixels, based on the input that you get from the cloud. So these are the two services that we're going to look for, and we're going to create a device type with these two functionalities. Okay, so the first step would be the, go and um, log in to your cloud developer account, click on device types and click on new devices and uh, then give a name. So this could be something like RGB lights and then give a unique name. So you can call it com.something.something .something .something, and then click on create device type. And once you do that, you just then click on add device type info and then you have to go and create something called as a manifest. So manifest is something that is, um, the kind of information that is going to be sending. So when you click on manifest, go and click on upload. And I have uh, already created a manifest that you can directly upload. So this manifest is in this location. I'm going to leave the links below. So you can go and check it out what this manifest looks like. And what, what you can do is just upload this manifest directly. And this is what it looks like. So what this has are fields and actions. So the field, you have something called a state. So state can be on and off. Level, so this is actually the intensity. So you can go from zero to 100%. Then you have color RGB that has red, green, and blue value. So basically these are the different states that this light can be in. And then actions set on means when um, an assistant actually, you ask them to turn on the light, it gives uh, information here. When you ask something to turn off the light, you get information here. Uh, set color RGB, you can actually set the color of the light. And set level actually sets the level of the intensity of the light. So these are different actions that you can perform from your assistants. Once you create this, again, you can upload the one that I have, or you can go and create this manually in here and activate your manifest. So once you activate it, uh, then you can go to your cloud. So now you have created a device type. Now let's go and create devices. So in this case, the first step is to go to your cloud. So this is the link to going to your cloud. Click on uh, devices and add new devices. And then uh, select the device that you just created. So in this case, it's RGB lights. And then uh, give a name. So this name is very important. This is what shows up in your Google Assistant or Alexa, whatever. So basically, this is the name that you would invoke. And then click on add devices. Once this particular device is created, you get this check mark, which means that your device is ready to go. 
So then go to your devices and click on generate token. So it creates a token. So this is somewhere around uh, 30 to 40 character long. So you will have two things. You have something called device ID and a device token. So this is what you would use as your username and password to connect to your MQTT cloud. Again, I have all the code that is required to connecting to this cloud for ESP8266 and ESP32. Here, again, I'm going to leave the links below. So what this does is connects to api.architect.cloud and it connects to the secure port, that is 888. A3, and it uses this username. So basically, you have to copy this username and put it in here in your sketch. Same thing for your password. So you just copy the device token and put it as the password. Another thing that took me a while to figure out are these two things. Okay, so the first thing is your publication topic. So your publication topic is going to be um, uh, slash v1.1 slash messages slash your username. And the action topic is where you would actually subscribe for things. So basically, every time you say, hey, Google, turn on this particular light, it is going to go and um, put that information into this particular topic. So that is slash v1.1 slash actions slash your username. Okay, so basically your username is being used in these topics. So this is going to be different for every device. So every device that you create, you need to go and just upload these two values for that particular device in here. And what this will do is basically you can get information from your assistants to this topic and you can act upon it. And you want to send the state of your device, you just send it to this particular topic. So this way your assistants can get information on what the state of your lights are. So go ahead and try it out. And this is the most easiest and the free way to actually connect to something in the cloud without actually paying for things. And it's, it takes less than 10 minutes to set the whole thing up. And I've also created the manifest for you so you can go and create an RGB light in there. So go ahead and try it out and let me know if you are able to reproduce it. Again, all the links are in the GitHub cloud. So go ahead and try it out.